Alright guys, um, started with the file and shaved down the handle more than it was, just a little bit, to put a tang on it. Then I cut this, but first I drew my outline, and I cut it, and now I'm going to do the rest of the outline. This is just an old file. I've been grinding on it for a while now, it doesn't have anything else on it except for the top, which I'm going to leave and some in the back, which I'm going to leave. Alright, show y'all whenever it's cut, or the rough outline. Alright, you guys, um, got the outline, and I've been putting an edge on it. Um, over here, I've flipped it, and put it in this first little notch, and turned it sideways. That's what I've been doing. And I've been sanding it on the sides some more, but yeah, left some of the fall work right there, and then on top, on both sides, and got an edge on it a little bit. Just time to put a handle and maybe get it a little bit sharper. Might put a brass guard on it. Alright. Alright guys, um, buffed it out to a mirror finish, and left the fall work, like I said, I don't know if you can see it. And file work on top, and then I was just angle grinding, putting an angle grinder on it to get the tang even. And don't know if I told y'all guys, but I got some, a brass bar right here, 12 bucks on eBay. It's quarter inch wide and six and quarter inch long, and inch or more thick. And um, so you can see right there that I cut something, but I didn't take a video of it. But here it is. And that's going to be drilled later. I might take a video of that. It's going to be right there. Uh, Alright, I'll see y'all then. Alright guys, I've drawn sharpie lines to the center. And I've got a metal bit. I've drilled my center hole already, but I don't want to set up my tripod just to drill a hole that will go through in a couple seconds. So, I want y'all get the look of it. There's a small hole. And drill probably two or three more and just follow it out from there. Alright. Alright, guys, you ready? Um, there it is. I went ahead and didn't film the filing or anything. But there it is. got a little wheel to it but it's not moving fits perfect too first brass guard down now I like it a lot all right next I'm gonna show you all the handle or right, what I'm gonna use for it all right. Alright guys, so here's my handle material, um, piece of, um, pine, and I have some deer stag right here. This is for that Damascus knife, I don't know if I've showed y'all it, but, yeah, this front part is for the Damascus knife, but, if you see right here that I've marked, I'm gonna put some deer stag, and try to cut a piece off through here or something. Alright, that's my handle material. Now I just gotta drill it and everything else, cut it. Alright guys, this is gonna be a two part video for the this handle. It's a deer stag and I've already polished on it a little bit and grinded it to where I want it and everything. <clears throat> so it's gonna this part's gonna be for the Damascus knife and then I'm gonna cut a piece out over here for the file knife. I'm gonna use this video for both. So I'm just gonna cut it right now. And I'm gonna cut ahead of what I really want to use just in case it's not long enough. Here's the other portion. 
Alright, now I just gotta cut a piece for the file knife. Alright. Alright guys, we got the, the handle cut and everything. Drilled it. We got the stag cut. Drilled it. And right now, I'm just gonna repolish the guard. It's been all scratched up again, but it's been scratched again, so I'm just gonna polish it on the loose buff in there. stuff I'm using is from Harbor Freight it says polishing compound green for high polish finish on bra copper, brass, stainless steel, and steel. And you get a soft cloth. Preferably not a dirty one, but you know me. Try to redneck it. Take your polished brass, rub it, rub it, and rub it. Remember to get a soft cloth. Do not get like something stale or you know, because it'll um, just scratch your brass up that you just polished. What I'm doing here, I'm not pushing down very hard, I'm just getting my compound off. And as you can see here, it made a big difference. Actually, the camera now. You could before, but it was all scratched up. But now there's brass. Stag and handle. Alright, stay tuned. I'm gonna glue it and vise it down and everything. Alright, guys, um, it's a different starting process, but this time I'm gonna glue the guard and the bone for now. I polish the bone on the buffer. You can't see it. Yeah, there you go. See that shine? Pretty nice. Use it on my loose wheel. Um, yeah, I didn't show you all that. I just showed you all the brass guard. But yeah, I'm just gonna film these two. I'm just gonna glue these two because if I still need a, I st I still need to get the wood flat. So on the belt sander. So just to get it completely snug and fit together. I'm just gonna glue these two right now. Mm, got a brand new bottle of Gorilla Glue. Mm, put you all up here. Got a brand new bottle of Gorilla Glue. And sorry, guys, I have to adjust the tripod. It's like an earthquake. There's cops in the background. Alright. Here we go. New bottle of Gorilla Glue. This is what I use. I don't use epoxy or anything. I haven't heard anything bad about it, so this is what I use. Um, so, I'm going to get my tang moist. So I'm just wiping it with carb cleaner, if y'all didn't see that. I'm wiping the excess off before I clamp it. So, got the glue and everything on. I'm just going to clip it. Show y'all whenever it's dry in the morning. Alright, we let the glue sit overnight. And got a blow dry on it and get out, got all the excess that was coming out. So it wouldn't come out during the night. But it was done. And then the mo this morning, uh, the hole from the stag wouldn't fill it all the way. So I just filled it up some more. And... Alright guys, I'm going to show you the handle setup before I glue it all. Here's our pine wood. Um, we cut it. Made a big difference. Now it actually fits. But it's already a huge handle. And then 
I decided to put a leather washer in it and getting it wet right now so it can form. But other than that, I'm about to glue it. And yeah, I'm not going to take a video of the gluing on this one. Because the last time it was like pretty long. I'm not going to make y'all watch that again. But yeah. Show y'all once it's vice down in the vice. Alright. Alright, guys, so I got it viced and everything. And the two piece vice. Got some 10 inch bolts and just drilled the front out. Or scroll sawed the front out. And just put the blade there. Just rest it on the guard. And just clamp it down. So, yeah. You can see we still got sand and it's kind of sideways. I think we drew it sideways a little bit, but it's all right. All right, everybody. Finished sanding and stained. You can see there it's mirror finish. Guys, I truly love this knife. Left the following on top side. And there's a brass card we've made. Deer stag in the front, leather in the middle, and pine on the back with high gloss on it. Paul, your thing. Look, guys, this this knife is true work of art. It took a long time to build, and it actually really did pay off. Um, I really enjoyed making it. So, if y'all could just give a like. And so, then that'd mean a lot. But, yeah. Thank y'all for staying along the video. And I'll see y'all next time with my next knife. Song, song of the south. Sweet potato pie and I shut my mouth